All right, here we go. We're doing another uh, another walk along. And uh, believe it or not, this is the same area uh, that I was walking along uh, just uh, with y'all just, just a few days ago, actually. And, you know, back then we had, you know, lots of just ice and snow covering everything. I mean, you could walk walk on the snow from place to place really without falling through but you know now you could see much of the snow is gone uh the temperature today was above 50 degrees as i was uh get, getting over here and uh yeah just uh you know pretty 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 remarkable so Looks like uh, this winter, believe it or not, let me, I'm gonna put it down, we'll do a little walk along. It's a little walk and talk along. You know, it's always interesting. I saw a few of you, uh, a few of you, I don't know, you know, making some comments. Pretty cool, you know? I wanna encourage everybody to, to walk along and uh, get some exercise every day. And, uh, you know, a little, still a little slippery here, though, I could tell you. That ain't gonna stop us. We don't know that one bit. I truly love the Christmas season. It's, uh, you know, it's just, it's time to be grateful and reminded of just, uh, just truly what life's about and purpose and meaning. And you know, it's also fun, too, and it's fun to be, spend time with other people and you know, it gets, it's great, it's great. Olympics are on, don't know if you're watching them or boycotting them, but whatever you are, uh, I have been watching them. You know, I've been sliding and slipping and, I tell you, this is like, woo, look at that, just sliding and slipping. But, uh, what else? Yeah, so the Olympics. The Olympics, you know, I learned something about the Olympics, is that uh, the Olympics are actually televised, uh, but they switch. So it, it has gone between like the major networks, you know, like the NBCs, the, the CBSs, the ABCs. For a while it was only two networks. Now, you know, it's been three uh, with, you know, or sorry, with Fox being in there. Sorry, did I say ABC? I, I don't think it, well, ABC may have had it in the past, but right now I think it's mostly uh, the other two, and sometimes Fox. But anyways, that was interesting. I don't know where I'm getting with that. But, ooh, what's that? A miter saw. You guys ever had a miter saw before? I have. I don't do too much handiwork, though. So, you know, that's not, uh, I mean, like, I do to an extent, but I prefer not to deal with saws um, of that caliber unless I have to. Because um, I think that uh, there's other people that are better suited to do that. But uh, that I have, you know. Gotta beware of the dog. You always wonder when you see those, uh, you know, those little um, beware things. You, you, we wonder, like, is that dog really the one that they have that's in the picture, you know? Like, because, like, here, I'll show it again, right? Like, you know, like, beware the dog. I mean, that, to me, suggests it's, like, some sort of, like, you know, German Shepherd or something like that. Nothing against German Shepherds, but, you know, I'm not necessarily, like, a German Shepherd fan. Uh, but you know, you, you wonder, like, I mean, you sometimes you just wonder, like, do people just put these signs up, like, even if they don't have a dog, just to, like, you know, scare people away, and, like, you know, <laughs> always something, to, you know, there's always, there's always something to think about, and, you know, hey, why not, why not think about it, right? Eh? Um, let's see what else. Yeah, we're just doing a little walk along, a little walk and talk here. Uh, we're noticing how 
Lots of change. It's still a little slippery though. Definitely, definitely. Getting the slippers going here. So, you know. You know. A lot of drain water in here. A lot of puddles to avoid, you know. But, um, you know. So, I kind of like these little walk-alongs, you know? Little mini wet pine cones or something here. Some orange rinds. You, know, you never know what you're gonna find. Peaceful out, at least. Yeah, peaceful nature. You know, something to do for a few hours. See what else i mean heck if you're still watching this uh, you're probably one of the select few so so right on right on i mean you never know this video could go like uber viral you know let's see yeah but back to the olympics so Back to the Olympics. So, I think that, uh, yeah, I've been watching a bunch of them actually. They gotta stop, they gotta stop at that light. But, you know, some really cool stuff, some disappointment. You definitely notice how, like, some of those uh, countries like the Swedes or the Norwegians. Germans, the Austrians, you know, just there's some countries that just, you know, probably because of where they're, they're located, you know, we definitely, God bless the USA, you know, but some countries are just, they're just better equipped, but uh, I mean, USA, definitely, I mean, always a strong nation, powerful nation, uh, for sure. And, um, yeah, it was a little sad to see, uh, you know, one of our one of our one of our cloud favorites, I mean our crowd favorites. Uh Michaela Ship. She's uh you know, she had some stumbles and hey, gotta be very disappointing, but you know that's 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 life and that's athletics and you know, 
shake yourself, shake yourself around, do the hokey pokey. And that's what it's all about. Um, so, you know, let's see. what else you know just this is more like a walking a walking uh, mumble jumble speaking of the mumble jumbles still doing the wordles and the and the nerdles right nerdle is the wordle with numbers and then uh, just started doing another one called global global like where you gotta find like the countries and I don't even know if I'm gonna keep doing that. I mean, I did it once, but I don't know. It's something fun to do if I got a couple of minutes of just sitting around, but that might not make it into my daily regimen every day. Just being real. Nothing against global or, but yeah, you know, the world's kind of fun because you can you know share it with your family, friends, and stuff, and you know. Let's see. Let's talk about sports betting. So, listen, I don't know where you are in the world. I don't know if, uh, if you're old enough to sports bet or whatnot. But here in New York State, sports betting just became, like, legal. <laughs> so now... You got like all these like upstate casinos. They all got these like sports book rooms. They got apps and whatnot. They're giving you all these freebies for signing up and and whatnot and whatnot. So, um, where where do I stand on all these sports books? Well, personally, I mean, I do enjoy like gambling when it's like you know fun. Like if it's card playing, you know Texas Hold'em. Stuff like that, but but I'm not really that big of a I'm not really that big of a like watching sports sports betting fan to begin with. But you know, occasional like you know maybe like I always I like watching March Madness, the uh, which is coming up actually. I don't know how many of y'all how many of y'all out there are watching the March Madness, the uh, college basketball. Um, you know, every year the tournament. I'm I'm excited about it. It's always something fun. But you know, usually just that's all it is. Usually just for fun. I'm usually you know not putting any money betting on it or nothing. Just uh, I just enjoy watching. It. It's, uh, you know, it's fun to watch. It's fun to see the Cinderella stories. But in terms of what's going on now, so sports betting is now legal in New York State. And so, you know, for the Super Bowl, you know, we wanted to, you know, get some, some action, get some betting on. So we did. We signed up, or I signed up, you know, and they give you like a match here with a bonus. So first off the bat, you know, what I realized is, I guess if you are going to sign up and you think it would be something that you want to do like long term for like a year or two or whatnot, to get your best bang for your buck, if you have, you know, the more you put in, the more bonus you get. Now you can't withdraw all that bonus right away but at least you get to play with it and then over time you can withdraw depending on how much you're wagering so you know it is kind of like free money and um even though it's betting it's it's uh you know it's still still free money um but you know i don't know for me i mean there's always promos there's always new sports books out there so I didn't really go super big. I just, you know, put a little in. They gave me a little bit. Okay, fine. Now, I did... Now, I did... Uh, I did place uh, a bet or a few. We did win. We won, like, $14 or... I don't know. It was something something super small, probably. To offset all the losses of probably previous, you know... Like I said, it's nothing... Nothing really, but um, but what I noticed was, I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, then you don't really know what you're doing. Like for instance, you know, if you want to bet the point spread, I mean, I probably screwed it up, right? Because like, if you want to pick the underdog, apparently, you know, 
the underdog is going to be the team that's got like a plus on that. You know, the favorites are going to minus whatever. But uh, where is that coming from? But, you know. But. You know, uh, yeah, so I, I guess what I'm saying is, like, if you don't even understand how to read the read the charts, I mean, you're kind of just, you know, just betting just for fun. I mean, that's kind of what I felt. I mean, so maybe you guys got some skill or whatnot. Uh, yeah, I might do it again. We'll see. Uh, you know, I prefer, like, things that I can understand a little bit more, like, you know, either the numbers or statistics side of something or like fundamental analysis or something like that with anything but um, you know listen you can't know everything all the time so I definitely know that uh, it is what it is when it comes to me and my sports knowledge and that's just fine for now uh, let's see what else getting out of the betting world um, is uh, Jeopardy. I don't know how many of y'all have been watching the Jeopardy, but uh, Jeopardy's got what well, they had the Amy Schneider, right? She was a, I don't know how many days, she was on there for 30, 40 days or something. She's doing great. Um, you know, first uh, transgender, like mega champion, if you will. And um, she'll probably be back again towards the end of the year because uh, she play against Matt Amodio, one of the top. Anyway, it's always fun. It's fun to watch, you know. It's good to challenge your mind. But um, now they're doing the college championship this week. They just finished their, their prelims, uh, you know, on the first on the first go round there. So they're gonna now they're gonna you know now they're pitting the, the winners up against the the other winners. So that's kind of cool. Um, well, I don't know where I am, but I'm not going, I'm not walking up there. I'm trying to see what else. Well, never really uh, had a podcast. Maybe this will be the beginnings of one. But, you know, hey, while I'm just walking and talking, maybe it's time to, like, muse and ruse or something like that. So... You know, I feel like, you know, sometimes you just get, uh, maybe you can't relate, maybe you can't, maybe you get to a point in your life where, like, oh, man, day in, day out, like, doing what I'm doing, you're excited about some things, other things, it's just, like, uh, sit out, man. Oh, not much. You know. And, uh, you know, or you're, like, you're, wait, you're waiting on something, but it's just, you know, you got you got patience, or, like, let's say if it's crypto, like, you know, you're excited about crypto, but, you know, Hey, when's this stuff going to hit? you right. I mean, patience game. So, or, you know, hey, maybe you come across and you're like, oh, you know, I, yeah, like, you know, like, I know that I'm, I know I should be working out more, but I'm not working out more. And now that I'm, you know, slacking so much, you know, it's like, it's like, uh, You know, now that you're like, oh man, I don't feel good. And now you're like, you know, you're, you're defeated or you're depressed because like, oh man, now it's going to take even longer to just try and get back in the shape to where, you know, I want to or should be, you know. And it just, you know, it feels maybe like that, like, like a rut or something, you know. It just feels like that rut. And, uh, you know, or maybe it feels like, you know, you know, financially, like, you know, you're seeing opportunities left and right and you want to take advantage of them all, but you can't. Right, maybe they're investment opportunities. Maybe it's just you know buying something for yourself or your family or for somebody else, or you know, maybe it's going on that trip, or maybe it's you know whatever it is may have you. Um, you know, we all got our own our own situations. 
but um you know so that's what I think I think I'm gonna end this video and I'll come back probably with another one peace